Photographers, are you ready to supercharge your business? In this video, I'm gonna show you the top five ways that I use ChatGPT to transform, connect, and grow my business. And trust me, you don't wanna miss these tips, so let's get right into it. Now, like I said, I want to talk about the top five ways that I use ChatGPT to grow my photography business. If you're new here, my name is Josh. I'm a professional photographer and content creator, and my goal is to help you grow and launch a successful photography business that pretty much runs on autopilot. So if you find the information in this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also share this with one of your photographer friends because doing those two things can help me more than I can even explain. Now, like I said, ChatGPT, everybody knows what it is. There are videos all around the internet, all around YouTube about ChatGPT, ChatGPT, the way that you can use it, the way that you can help your business succeed. Nobody actually talks to photographers specifically. Now, if you stick around to the end of this video, I have some information about something that I created custom made to help you as a photographer. But before we get into that, let's talk about the five ways that you can use ChatGPT to grow your photography business. So in a world where everything is AI assisted right now, why not use that to your advantage as a photography business? And these five ways that I'm gonna tell you are the exact ways that I use every day in some way or another to help my photography business. Let's talk about number one, and the first way is email interactions or client interactions in general. Now, all of these examples I could go deep into a rabbit hole with, but I'm going to give you baseline information to show you how you can use these because I don't want this video to be five hours long. Uh, I just want to kind of show you how I use it. So let's say, for example, you get an email from your website. It's an inquiry about somebody who wants you to photograph their wedding. Sadly, you're not available, but you don't quite know how to send them a message or an email without sounding rude, and you kind of need help on figuring that out. And what you can do is you can actually go in here and say something like, I got an email, I need an answer back, and it'll give you an answer. So let's go ahead and let's type in, I received an email looking for a wedding photographer, but I'm unavailable. Can you help me with a response that sounds warm hearted and nice? So now what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead, it's going to think about it, and it's going to create an email response. Now, AI is not a replacement for your brain. It is just a tool. It is there to help you. So what you can do is now take this, what it gives you, and you can copy it, paste it into your notes or pages or whatever you use and make it sound a little bit more like you. But what it's done is this. Thank you so much for considering me to capture your special day. Truly means the world. Unfortunately, I'm already booked for your wedding date. So this has allowed you to create an email just like that. Uh, you don't have to try to figure it out yourself. You can just use AI to help you with these streamlined things. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next one. The next one is content creation. Maybe you're not the best social media person. Maybe you're not the best person trying to figure out how to convey captions or descriptions. You don't really understand hashtags. How can you use that? Well, check this out. Let's say you're gonna post a photo on Instagram, but you don't know how to create the caption for that. What you can do with this is you can actually upload your own photo and what you can do is you can say, can you create a captivating yet down to earth style caption for Instagram? What it's going to do then is it's going to actually look at the image and it's going to create a caption. Now, once again, take this caption that it creates and kind of manipulate it to sound more like you. Love, laughter, and a little bit of magic. Capturing moments like this reminds me of why I do celebrating stories, emotions, and timeless connections. Here's to forever under the skies, as golden as your love. So see, this is creating captions just for you. And it even gave you captions. Hashtag wedding day dreams. Hashtag storyteller through the lens. Look at that. You're ready to now create content online without needing to stress about what to do. Now let's switch directions a little bit and let's say that we're going from 
the business side of things to actually editing. Let's say you wanted to work in Lightroom Classic and you wanted to figure out how to edit moody portraits. What you can do is actually just ask it that. I want to create a moody portrait in Lightroom. I've already taken the photo, but now I need some pointers on how to edit it in Lightroom Classic. So it's going to tell you everything that you should do in the basic adjustments. So start by slightly lowering the exposure if the photo is bright the clarity, add a touch of clarity, then go down to your tone curve and start working with your tone curve. The color grading, it's going to tell you about split toning. It's going to tell you how to do an effect like vignette and add grain, final adjustments, and then it'll give you a pro tip. So to create a preset, so you can apply this to other photos in the series, that way everything matches. So this has given you tips and pointers without even needing a photography coach or taking any sort of online class or anything. And you're getting the answers right here. Now, the downside to that is you're not getting the visual. So if you're a YouTube learner or something like that, you're not getting that. That's the downside. But these are now notes that you could store and put away and have for future. Another great way that you can use this is you can create educational pieces for your clients. Now, I'm not talking about teaching them photography, but let's say you wanted to teach somebody or let somebody know how to prepare for their upcoming headshot session. And you can do that right in here. So let's just type in a little note that says something like, I need to create a list of things to send to a client so they can prepare for their upcoming headshot session. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit enter and watch it create this thing that you can send to your upcoming client, letting them know about their headshot session. So it's giving you a list of wardrobes. It's giving you grooming topics. It's telling them to rest and rehydrate expressions and posing. It's giving you session logistics. It's personal preferences, items to bring, and your mindset. It's telling you all of these things that allow you to just copy this and paste it into Canva and create a nice piece of material that you can send them prior to their shoot so they're ready to go. Now, the last one that I wanna to touch on is the most important one, but I don't wanna talk about it yet because first I wanna talk about where you've been watching this. And that is the Photog Nation AI Assistant. This is a completely custom AI assistant that I created for people like you. Now, ChatGPT is a great place to do this, but sometimes when you ask it a question because it's so broad spectrum, it can give you some pretty out of left field type answers. With this, what I've done is I've spent hours creating a custom GPT that you can add on directly to your chat GPT that is based just around questions that you have and photography answers. What I've also done is I've given it a tone and style based around my tone and style. So it's like you're asking me questions. It's like you're talking to me. The coolest part is, is this is completely free. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link down in the description down below where you can download it and add it onto your chat GPT. That way, you know, you're getting the best photography related answers that you can possibly get. So number five, probably the most important one that I use, and that is figuring out pricing. Pricing is one of the hardest things to try to figure out, especially for in your area or your style or your expertise or the amount of experience you have. This is one of those things that it really can be all over the place. Now, once again, this isn't a replacement. It's just a tool to help you kind of get started and get some pointers based around that. So let's ask it. Let's say that I'm doing a headshot session and I need to know how much I should charge based on my location and what they're getting. So what I've said in this is I'm a headshot photographer and I need to figure out pricing for my upcoming session. This is a high end headshot and they get one to two final images. I'm very experienced in the industry and do not offer headshots often. Let's add in there. I'm located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So there you go. It has a whole breakdown here. So understanding the local market, local market in Wisconsin is approximately $300. Assess your value proposition. Uh, it's reasonable to position your price above the median if you have experience because you're your premium nature. Then you need to analyze your competitor pricing. So it's telling me RP photography in Green Bay does headshots, but the pricing is not publicly listed. Adam Shea photography, who is actually a friend of mine, charges $179 plus tax for a headshot session, which includes one high resolution 
photo. Then you need to consider your session inclusions, one to two photos, trying to figure that out. And then set your pricing, and it's going to tell you, based on the above considerations, a pricing range of $400 to $600 is appropriate for a high-end session in Green Bay. That is exactly what I charge for headshot sessions. So that works. That worked out. That figured it out. That made it so much easier on how to figure out my pricing. Yes, it can sway, it can change, it can do all of that, but if you use this ChatGPT as a jumpstart or an easy way to get going on some of these questions, the sky's the limit. You really can ask this anything. And when you use that Photognition AI Photography Assistant, it helps even more because it learns as it grows, and I'm also always updating the back end of it. So go download that. Get that Photog Nation AI Photography Assistant. Once again, if this video helped you out, please consider sharing it with your photography friends and maybe hitting that follow button. Otherwise, maybe you should check out this video right here because I also think this one will help you out a lot too. And YouTube thinks the same. Otherwise, it wouldn't suggest it for you. I'll talk to you later. Deuces.